Welcome back to Corby Q. I'm Corby, and today we are doing a shredded pork sandwich. It's gonna be a whole lot of flavor. It's gonna have some spice to it. It's in honor of my wife. Let's get this rolling. Now, anybody that knows my wife, or if you've been a regular visitor of this channel, you may have heard me talk about how she doesn't like to eat meat, except boneless pork chops and pulled pork. So today, for her, we have this recipe for this shredded pork that she found online. I posted a picture of it on my Instagram a couple weeks ago that we were testing out the recipe. We are going to cook it today in my Power Pressure Cooker XL. We are going to put some butter in here. We are going to take this pork loin right here that I have. It was about a seven pound pork loin. I trimmed some fat off of it. We are going to get this plugged in and we're going to get it cooking. So this, this pressure cooker does not turn on until you plug it in. Let me plug that in. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this to heat up. And while this is heating up, I'm going to go over the ingredients for today. We got some salt, a te teaspoon, I'll have the recipe down in the description. Got some salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. Got a quarter teaspoon of thyme. Got it. The recipe calls for a half a cup of the pepperoncini juice, but we like it a little spicier. So we're going to use a two cans, two 16 ounce cans of the juice. Gonna throw some pepperoncinis in there and got some red peppers. So this just beeped over here, so we are gonna put some butter in here. And that should, if you wanna come over the top of it and look inside, it should start to melt. And once that starts to melt, I'm gonna grab my tongs off the back here. And we'll let that melt. Now the butter is just about melted. This is coming up to temperature. I'm not going to season the pork loin before I put it in. I don't want a whole lot of extra salt. So I'm just going to take these pieces and I am going to brown them up. And I will uh, come back to you after I brown both of these on all sides. Pork has been uh, browning up in the Power Pressure Cooker XL. I'm going to take a look at it. That's nice. So what we are going to do now is we are going to deglaze the bottom of this pan. Got a half a cup of water that we're going to put in there. And a bouillon packet. A chicken bouillon packet. I'm going to put that in there. Give it a nice stir. So all of that bouillon dissolves. Scrape off the bottom of that pan. Now to this... We are going to add all of the pepperoncini juice. This is going to go right into the pressure cooker. And I'm going to put the salt. You know what? I'm not going to put the salt. I'm going to put the pork in first. I don't want super, super salty liquid because I'm sure that chicken, chicken uh, <clears throat> bouillon stuff is salty enough. So I'm going to put that in there. Now I'm going to add the recipe calls for six pepperoncini peppers scattered in the pan while you cook. We like it with a little more. It's up to you. We're going to, I'm going to put them nestle. I'm going to gently nestle them inside of the pressure cooker. I think this is the garlic powder. I don't know. Onion powder. Teaspoon of each. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper quarter teaspoon of thyme adds a real nice little little subtle flavor in the background now we're going to add the first the first what we browned the pork in was two tablespoons of butter i'm going to put two more tablespoons of butter in just to add some richness to the juice and on top of all that we're going to add two sliced red peppers We are going to get this lid on. 
This is where I always have trouble because this lid never wants to go on for me. It'll lock. Okay, now we're going to come around here. I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to turn it on canning. And the cook time, uh, if I can figure it out, that's not right. Let's see. I don't want two hours. Hold on, let me take a look at this. Put it on the canning. Forty-five. I don't remember how to do it for uh, eighty minutes. I had it. Let's cancel this. Let's hit this. Let's hit time adjustment. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. So. One hour and 20 minutes. That's 80 minutes. We are going to let this build up the pressure. And we will come back. Um, you want to make sure that you put the valve on cook, not pressure release. So the power pressure cooker has two settings. Well, two dials on. It's got the pressure and it's got the release pressure. You want to make sure you got the pressure on. Make sure this is locked. We're going to let this go for 80 minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll shred it up. And I'll show you what that looks like when we're done. 80 minutes later and it's done. Let's take a look at it. Ooh. That looks good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pork out of the of the juice. Oh, it's falling apart in my tongs. I'm going to put it in this little bucket here. And I am going to shred it with a fork. Look at that, it's just falling apart. That's hot. Oh yeah. Mm. Cameraman approved. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get this shredded up and then I'm going to put it back in the juice. I'll show you what that looks like when we put it back in the juice. Then we're going to get these sandwiches going. All right. Here's the pork. Look at that. It's just perfectly shredded. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to take this pork. I'm going to try to get it all back in the bowl without spilling any, or in the, in the, in the pot without spilling any. Come on, tell me that doesn't look delicious. I'm going to give it a quick mix. I'm going to let it sit in the juice while I... I'm going to let it sit in the juice while I go grab the hamburger buns and get everything uh, set up to plate it up and taste it up. I'll be right back. Got some soft Hawaiian buns. I'm going to plate up some of this poor... Oh, man. Ugh. Come on, I'm going to put one slice of provolone on each sandwich. Give it an op I'm going to give it an opportunity to melt that cheese and then we're going to eat. Stay tuned. Here we are about to dig into these sandwiches. Let's just do a real quick recap what we did. We had about a six out uh, six pound pork loin that we browned up in the power pressure cooker XL. We added some pepperoni peppers, some roast, some red peppers, a bunch of seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, thyme. We let it cook for 80 minutes. We topped it with some mozzarella cheese. I am going to get ready to eat this. I want to thank you to my wife, Lisa, for the idea and for helping me tweak the recipe. And we get a big, huge shout out to my son, Kevin, for manning the camera today. All right, here we go. We're going to bite this thing. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Excuse me. You can taste the spiciness of the pepperoni. Cheese is great on top of there. Pork is perfect. Look at that. Just Pork is perfect. 
All right. Mm. As always, thank you for watching. Doesn't matter if you're smoking it, grilling it, baking it, or pressure cooking it. Keep doing what you do. Take care.